Finally, it seemed like he'd landed the big one. A £14 sea bass held a Guernsey man net first prize in the coveted Mr Fish contest. Uh, that, was, that was until his fellow contestants spotted something awry. Um, he was a very distinctive fish um, and was well known by many, many people around the island because of certain markings on his, around his gills. It was always going to be risky stealing one of the most famous fish on Guernsey, but for £800 prize money, Matthew Clark thought it worthwhile. The massive sea bass duly won him first place in an angling competition. The only problem was he'd caught it at the local aquarium and was rumbled by another fisherman. Just the difference, the uh, markings on the gills, which stuck out a mile. It's, we were down the aquarium a couple of weeks ago with my children and we had a good look at it and that's what give it away, to be honest. Matthew Clark received 100 hours community service after admitting burglary and fraud. The 29-year-old used a rope ladder to climb a cliff and get into a back entrance of the St Peter Paul's Aquarium before leaving with the fish in a bin bag. Cheats never prosper, simple as. It's just straightforward, never cheat. You'll always get caught out. Sadly, the bass never made it back. It was apparently injured when Clark dropped the bin bag, leaving the aquarium. He claimed it died shortly after the competition and sold it to an unsuspecting fishmonger who chopped it up. Even now, you look in the uh, tank and there's a space there. And it sounds strange, I know, but there is, um, there is a loss, if you like. There's a loss. Clark initially denied stealing the bass, but was hooked when detectives recovered the head from the fishmongers and matched it to the winner's picture. Foiled, fried and sushied.